say it plain and simple. I love to ski. I've been skiing ever since I was five years old and I have been obsessed with it. Now, there's one thing you also gotta know about me. One, I love to ski. Two, I also love to do stupid things and challenge myself. So now that you know some stuff about me, this project is gonna make a lot more sense. For my honors project, I decided to challenge myself and ski 70,000 vertical feet, but using math. First, I tried to determine whether or not it's actually mathematically possible. The answer is yes, and I definitely proved that during this project. So I not only calculated, can you ski 70,000 vertical feet, that's me when I'm little, by the way, but I also calculated it and did it myself. Now, I did it with my best friend Carter right here, and we ended up skiing 90,000 vertical feet. This project has transformed like just my high school career because I've done so much of this project that I think is so cool. Nice job, now, I do a lot of crazy things skiing, like I ski in places where you can possibly die, I watch ski jumping, but this one seemed like the best option. Now, on the actual ski day itself, I skied with one of my good friends, Carter Gonzalez, who's willing to do the challenge with me. Boom, this is how. So this is all my math that I I did after the project to see basically what we were actually able to do. So this was our final. Let me zoom you in. This was our final, 90,450. Our goal was 70,000 and we were able to get 71,190 vertical feet at 2.22 p.m. Meaning that we had some extra time, so we said, why not we just go for 90? Our halfway mark was 12 o'clock, 12.15 to be precise. And so that's basically what we knew. Okay, if we're at 35,000 at 12, then we were going to be able to hit 70,000 by 4 o'clock. But we actually hit that way earlier. So 8.30 to 2.22 is 5 hours and 52 minutes to get 71,190 vertical feet. That's the actual goal for the project. So we could have said, okay, we're totally good, but no, we went for 90. Now, this is how you can how I could tell the math I used. This is how I was able to figure out how much how many more vertical feet we needed in the hour and 40 minutes we had left. So, we still needed to get 19,260 vertical feet right here for now. But let's look at the schedule Carter and I did. So we took the lift called Centennial at 8.30 a.m. exactly. We were the first ones up. We were able to get 2,102 vertical feet with that one. Then we went on the next lift called Birds of Prey for the rest of the day. We actually did that 38 times. Now, that's a total of 82,042 vertical feet. In total, we were able to get 2,159 vertical feet per one ro rotation, which took us 10 minutes. Then at 2.30, when this lift closed, we then went to Centennial, which was 2,102 vertical feet again. And then we did Centennial again. And then we did Centennial, finally, again at 4.04 p.m. And our grand total, 90,450 vertical feet. So that's the schedule we were able to do. Now let's go back to the math. So... Let's scroll down actually just a little bit. So the mistake I made with my calculations first is I'm going to admit I made a mistake. I gave us way too much time to do 2,100 or 2,159 vertical feet. I thought it would get, take us about 12 minutes. It actually took Carter and I an average of 10 minutes each time. So the lift is 7 point, uh, or the lift is 6.75 minutes long. I estimated it would be seven minutes. So basically when you multiply, well, when you subtract seven minutes, which is what I thought it would take, minus 6.75, that gives us an extra 0.25 minutes per 2,159 vertical feet. Then you multiply this 0.25 times 38, which is how many times you were on that lift, and that's an extra 9.5 minutes of skiing. And that can easily be an extra 2,159 vertical feet, which is what I rounded it to. So when you do that right here, you take um, the time it takes. So then here I have, um, I gave us 12 minutes for every 2,159 vertical feet, which actually take, took 10 minutes, 
which then when you do the math, equates to 76 extra minutes. So you do the math there and you get that's an extra 15,256 vertical feet, which is what we ended up getting because I messed up the time it took. Then you take up the time I rounded on the lift, you add that together, and that's a total of 17,435 vertical feet that I miss, I messed up on. So that's what we were actually able to get in addition to the 70,000 that I knew we were gonna get. So that's basically the mistake I made. Next up is right here. So birds of prey is 6.75 minutes long. Okay, and then on our watches, which we all have, um, which Carter and I both use, we were able to time us going down it, and it took an average of 3.25 minutes. So that's equal to 10 minutes per 2,159 vertical feet. Okay, now I'm going to explain the math I did up here and here. So this is our total that you can see. 90,450 vertical feet. And then this is the total that we were able to get, which is the 70,000. So you take the final minus the, um, the goal, and that meant that we needed to get 19,260 more vertical feet in order to meet 90,000. So 90,000, and then you basically, I subtracted the amount of vertical feet that I messed up on, which is down here and you're able to get 1,825 vertical feet left. So this is probably from a faster run or this is me adding because of the bathroom. So that's some time that I'm unable to clarify basically what it is, but this is the time you get extra in case you're actually wondering like, man, did this actually work out perfectly? No, it didn't, but that's okay. Now let's flip over to this other side. So, um, next year, we were we got multiple articles written about us. So next year, people are wanting us to do 100,000 vertical feet. So now that I know the times that Carter and I were able to get, I was able to calculate, well, is this even mathematically possible? Because that was the whole start of my project. So we'll see if this is even possible. So the answer is that if we have 8.5 hours, then mathematically, yes, it's possible. But physically, that isn't really possible because you don't have that much time skiing. So you need five more lifts, which is 50 more minutes if we stay consistent. That is key because when you're skiing this much, then it's not everything is, a, is just going up linear, linearly. There might be a time when it all of a sudden, this, your progression isn't as constant and it starts to dip because you get slower. So what you do is I divided, well, I m first multiplied centennial lift, which is 2,102 times four. And then I subtracted that total from 100,000 then divided that by 2,159, which is um, the birds of prey, and that means that we have to ride birds of prey 43 times and centennial four times, which equals 100,000. So here's my math right here. Um, that's basically exactly what I did. And then my our final vertical feet would actually be 101,245, but that seems actually pretty crazy. So next is for the fundraiser part, because there's math involved in the fundraiser too. Okay, so for the fundraiser, our goal was seventy or seven thousand dollars. Our final money raised was nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, and there is seventy. Or this is a this is a mistake on my part. There was actually eighty nine donors. So to find the average amount each donor made, you divide the total by the number of donors. You get that everyone on average donated one hundred nine point five seven dollars per donor. Now, our room and board, we stayed the night. That was $98 per pod, and we actually got a $30 discount for what we were doing. So we stayed in two pods, so that's a total of $196. Okay, here's the super cool part about the project now that the math part is over, because I realized that could be possibly a little bit boring. Now, here is here are all the articles that were published about Carter and I and what we were doing. It's 
really cool that we got this publicity mainly because we raised over nine thousand dollars for st jude's children's hospital and one of the coolest things that happened was that lindsey vaughn actually reached out and congratulated us for what we were doing and also wishing us luck there's the video right there and these articles are super cool to near and dear to my heart because it's just an amazing opportunity and not only did we ski 90,000 vertical feet we did our goal for this project um i got a new female record for vertical feet at beaver creek but i mean also we were able to help turn people struggling with cancer and raise over nine thousand dollars really close to 10k and here are all the donors so this project was insane incredibly life-changing and i hope you enjoyed watching it